Hello, everybody. I'm Tom, Greg Lutheran, Jesus Christ. Hey, Tom. I'm being filmed here today. Hey, Tom. And uh, I'm glad you're all here that we can come back to see you are. Nice to see some faces. And everybody, hey, everybody that's that. hopefully online. And if you want to get a chip and you're not physically here, text Ann and we'll get make sure you get one. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and pray. So Lord, we just thank you again for everything you've done in our lives and continue doing in our lives, Lord. We just look to you in our recovery. You are faithful, the only good one, the only higher power, Lord, is you. And we just thank you and we pray that uh, everyone is well and uh, we can get back together and with our family, Lord, here and celebrate recovery in your name. Amen. Anything else? <laughs> Hi, I'm Yvette. Hi, Yvette. Grateful believer in Jesus Christ. And I celebrate recovery from unhealthy relationships, uh, emotional eating, and codependency. And I'm going to do eight principles. And we'll definitely popcorn, please. <laughs> Okay. One, realize I'm not God. I admit that I am powerless to control my tendency to do the wrong things and that my life is unmanageable. Happy are those who know they are spiritually poor. Matthew 5 3. Two, earnestly believe that God exists, that I matter to Him, and that He has the power to help me recover. Happy are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Matthew 5 4. Three, consciously choose to commit my life and will to Christ's care and control. Happy are the meek, Matthew 5.5. 5. Four, openly examine and confess my faults to myself, to God, and to someone I trust. Happy are the pure in heart, Matthew 5.8. 5. Six, evaluate all my relationships, offer forgiveness to those who have hurt me, and make amends for harm I've done to others, except when to do so would harm them or others. Happy are the merciful, Matthew 5, 7. Happy are the peacemakers, Matthew 5, 9. Seven, reserve a daily time with God for, for self-examination, Bible reading, and prayer in order to know God and His will for my life and to gain the power to follow His will. 8. View myself to God to be used to bring this good news to others, both by my example and by my words. Happy are those who are persecuted because they do not do what God requires. Matthew 5.10. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Good evening. My name is Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Welcome to the Celebrate Recovery. I'm here to do the chips for you tonight. Yay! And I'm going to move this chip table over so I don't want my head on the TV. Okay. So the first chip is the most important chip. It is blue. It reminds us to surrender to Christ only. If you've identified a new area in your life you'd like to surrender to Christ, we hope you will come forward to take a blue chip to remember the surrender date. If you relapse, there's no shame in coming back. We feel you blessed you made it. Also, if you're new, we'd like to give you a blue chip. Is there any newcomers? Yay! Yay. 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 Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Would you like to say anything? Uh, no, maybe I'm not ready right now. Okay, no worries. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Yeah, I'll say something. Okay. Hi, my name is Bruce. Hi, And uh, I'm a very grateful recovering alcoholic, drug addict, uh, uh, terrible person. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm recovering. And through the, through the grace of Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. Thank you. 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 Th
Amen. 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 Yeah, and I've, I've, uh, I sobered up in 83, and, and I've been a counselor for like 30 years, and, and I've uh, uh, been going to Alcoholics Anonymous for many, many years, sobered up there. Uh, got to the point where I didn't feel comfortable raising my hand and saying, my name is Bruce, and I'm an alcoholic. And uh, uh, a couple of years ago, I surrendered to Jesus, and... Uh, my life has totally changed. Mm -hmm. I'm here and, and I'm here because of the fellowship and because of uh, Jesus Christ. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Ruth. Thank you. I forgot to say that I'm um, in recovery for codependency and um, depression and anxiety and suicidal ideation. And then I'm grateful to be with Jesus. Ooh. Bye, Jamie. Amen. Thank Hi. You, Jamie. <laughs> we have a um, a blue chip for Connie for okay. schooling. Okay, you go, Connie. Woohoo, Connie! Yay, Connie! Set that aside for you. Thank you, Connie. Okay, the red chip is for 30 days of recovery. Red reminds us of the blood Jesus shed on the cross and the forgiveness of our sins. Does anybody have a red chip? The green chip is for 60 days of recovery. Anybody have a green chip? White is for 90 days. Anybody have a white? Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. I need a blue. I'm <laughs> scared of rain tonight. Go, Jamie. Would you like to say something? Yes. Um, actually, my daughter's moving out on June 1st, and I just want to start some new habits. Uh, for mm -hmm. new, um, habits in regards to um, my personal life. Mm -hmm. hey, Jamie, go for it. Okay, so turquoise is four months. Does anybody need a four month chip? Okay, five is purple. Yellow is for six long months of recovery. Does anybody need yellow? Seven is for brown, seven months. Orange is for eight months of recovery. Nine is the black chip. Ten is the light blue chip. Does anybody need ten? Eleven is the dark red chip. And at one year, we receive a gold coin. Does anybody need a gold coin? How about 18 months? Two years? Anything more than two years? Okay. Yay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Joanne, faithful believer in Jesus Christ, and my areas of recovery are codependency and relationship addictions. And I'm just going to give some announcements. Leaders, we're going to have a meeting on June 6th, Saturday, at 8.30 at Gay's House, 500 Canterbury Drive. And if anybody's interested in being a leader, you just want to come into our meeting, you're welcome to come. And also, I'm going to do a training on conflict resolution. So. Uh, you don't want to miss that. Yay. Yay. <laughs> right? Okay, and so this is our offering time, so uh, we could pass around our offering. Yeah. We haven't taken offering since January, but last no, week we took, we so took it last week. week. But last week we had a huge offering because we did take one last week. <laughs> but it was, it was late. <laughs> it was a big offering. It was great. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And our offerings go for like our chips, our child care, which we don't have right now, uh, our meals, our materials that we use, our training materials, just all kinds of stuff. So, um, and we invite you, we, we, we have uh, three, three step studies running right now. We have a men's step study that is uh, a 12 step program, uh, step study that is um, kind of in their last phases. Mm -hmm. And we have uh, two ladies groups, the journey continues and the journey. So um, when these groups finish up, at that time we may open up some new groups. 
that's where we actually work the 12 steps and we get to the root of why we you know struggle with the things we struggle with and allow God to heal those deep places and really do personal inventories and actually that is what we've been um, our lessons have been on have been the moral inventory and the spiritual inventory next week our lesson will be on spiritual inventory and um, so that will be the last week we spent on inventories. But the inventories are, are huge because that's where we really um, <clears throat> dig down and start looking, you know, at, at our past and, you know, where we have heard some resentments. Just dealing with them, you know, really, um, you know, maybe God's not saying to deal with everyone you, you put down. Maybe it's just one thing, you know, you never know what God's going to do in those step studies. But it's layer upon layer He heals us. And um, I personally have been through quite a few and um, maybe four. Probably five. I don't know. Every time it gets deeper and deeper, I love it. Okay, so um, I think there was something else I had to say, but I can't remember. Oh yes. Okay, so if you're on the live stream, um, we don't do these the worship songs during the live stream because of the licensing for live streams with Shiloh. So um, we we will have they are posted and the testimony for tonight is posted. And the testimony was picked up by Sandra. And the testimony is on um, a, a very current one. It's someone that came through COVID and struggles with food addiction. So um, you don't want to miss that. Okay, so I guess we're going to go on to the serenity. our serenity prayer. Oh, and if you need instructions on how to get to us, you go to Shiloh's website. Go to those three little bars on the side. Go to hit it, and you'll go to events, and then calendar. And just find any Friday and, and find Celebrate Recovery and click on the hot link for the playlist and you'll see all of our playlists that we've had for uh, the last nine weeks, okay? So we're glad you're here and we love you. We miss you. Get back in here. Okay, bye. My name is Julia and we're going to do the Serenity Prayer. Hi, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Living one day at a time, enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardship as a pathway to peace, taking as Jesus did, the simple world as it is, not as I would have it, trusting that you will make all things right if I surrender to your will, so that I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with you forever and next. Amen.